What's up, Sagittarius? And welcome to Black Madonna HP's Table Etiquette. I've been on a little vacay. Not really, but <laughs> been having a lot of stuff to take care of. So I'm back checking in, trying to see what on shifting in the energy. So uh, I'm excited to see what's been going on. I hope everybody uh, enjoyed their summer, are enjoying this beginning of fall. Kids are back in school, so I know a lot of parents are back to their usual way of life. So that's what's up. Either way, let's go ahead, hop into this message, see what Beloved wants you to know at this time. Beloved, what's the vibe for Sagittarius at this time? What's going on with the Sagittarius? Family and tribe cycles and healing. Very, very interesting energy coming out. And I'm going to tell you why. I'm picking up like a um, generational, I don't want to say a generational curse, but someone... Um, could be you, Sag, but someone is breaking like generational curses, things that have persisted from generation to generation. Say, for example, Sag, you got a you got a mother, or whatever. She had a bad drinking problem. Always was drunk. You know, could barely take care of the kids. You had to be the 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 adult in the house or something like that. You know, it seems like. Even if you may have started off drinking, it's like something in your energy, something in your vibration is like breaking that generational cycle. Like you're like going to be the last generation to have those level of addictions or level of toxicity or whatever. Um, also, you are going to be the generation Sagittarius that changes the mindsets of future generations, right? Like you might be the first generation millionaire or you might be the first generation to go to college or you might be the first generation to, I don't know, start your own business or something like that. You are the one that's breaking barriers, okay? So that's what I'm getting initially. Let's go ahead and see what's up for you. Beloved, what's going on for Sag? What's going on for Sagittarius, please? Wow. Generation after generation has had to fight whatever this is. You are that chosen one to break these generational cycles. Whatever these generational cycles include. Let's see what's up. Oh, it has held your family captive. For many generations. You know what I keep getting? Especially with this coming out. Now. Somewhere along your bloodline. Could have been a great grandmother. Great great grandmother. Something like that. Great grandfather. Something like that. Someone danced with. Ooh. Someone danced with the devil. They, I don't, I don't know what they used to dabble in. They could have, mm, they could have deal with different spiritualities. They could have um, sold someone off. It, it, oh, wow. Mm, mm, mm. Let's see what's up. Wow. I don't want to dig too deep into that because that energy there, oh my goodness. So Queen of Swords, Ace of Cups, Page of Pentacles, Four of Wands, and the Three of Swords. Oh, okay, so I'm going to give you the example of David. Now David was a god, a god, a man after God's own heart, right? Saul was supposed to be the chosen one, but David ended up being a man after God's own heart. So when, when David slayed thousands, 
I mean, when Saul slayed thousands, David was slaying tens of thousands, right? All the girls is, oh, David, 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 and so on and so forth, right? I'm sorry about that, you guys. But they were, oh, David, oh, David, right? So they were, David was slaying all of these, and he, I mean, he lived a great life. He eventually became king, all of that stuff, right? But one day, David was in his room, and he looked across the way, and he'd seen something that was so beautiful, something that caught his eye, like, wow, who was that, you know? looking across, and it was Uriah's wife, Bathsheba. Ironically, either she was taking a bath, taking a shower or something, but he was able to look on her nakedness, right? Set Uriah up, put him in the front line of the army to be killed, and uh, God sent it. So God sent the prophet, because any time God is getting ready to do some work, he gonna send the prophet in advance to, to warn the people, hey, this is what's going on, this is what God say, right? So Uriah comes and he tells David, I mean, uh, Samuel comes and tells David, you know, that God said, haven't I given you everything? I've given you the whole like kingdom and this little sheep that your fellow man had, you know, um, you wanted that too. So the the sword will never leave your bloodline, right? So the sword never left his bloodline. His daughter wound up getting molested by her own brother. Um, the brother wound up dying. It was just, it never left the bloodline, right? I feel like somewhere, Sag, down your bloodline, whoever this queen of swords energy is could have been your grandmother great grandmother grandfather great grandfather uh definitely i'm hearing uh aquarius libra or gemini check your ancestry see who this person was right but it was something it was something that they were offered some type of new opportunity right that looked good to them something that it was forbidden. I don't know what type of practice this was that was forbidden, but it was a forbidden thing. It was something that in their in their culture, and obviously ours as well, because if if the generational curse has went on for so long, obviously it was something that even in our day would have been forbidden. So whatever this queen of swords was on, whatever it was that she allowed herself to um oh wow you know how back in the day there was no like condoms and people couldn't have abortions and stuff like that one of the things I'm getting is that this woman could have self aborted or something and could have killed a child or a male was responsible for the death of some type of child or something like that, especially with this page of pentacles energy here. But it was something done that was, I keep getting the forbidden. It was forbidden fruit. But someone, someone, and if that abortion scenario, that's not for everybody, that's for some people. But whoever, whatever this person participated in, it affected the entire bloodline of, of her family for generations upon generations upon generations, right? There's that one sheep, ironic. Well, it's a goat, but that one sheep that I was talking about. So this was someone who had that sheep, but they wanted like this Bathsheba type energy. But the whole entire family have paid for it from generations to generations. If you made it this far in this message, beloved is saying that that generational curse is broken. That you are the last of the bloodline that will see that level of intensity of cursing. Primarily because the debt has been paid. The debt had to be paid from generation to generation to generation. Because whatever this thing that was so forbidden 
within this bloodline, within this within this the society, within God's kingdom. The debt has been paid. I'm not sure if it showed up like like you guys could have like twins that run in your family and one of the twins pass or you could have you know a family that you know some of the kids were born with uh, development disabilities or mental retardation or something like that but beloved is saying it's broken i want to see how did this show up in her bloodline's life please his or her bloodline's life how did it show up please how did it show up in the bloodline, please? Thank you. See up the breakthrough generation. It was the last. See, I feel like it was a grandmother or something like that. But let's see what's up. How did it show up? Ooh. How did it show up, my love? Let me get one card, please. One card. I don't know if it's my nail that keeps these cards from coming out correctly. One card, please. Thank you. So you have failure and wisdom. You know what's interesting about these two cards? Is they're on different ends of the spectrum, right? When you have a lack of knowledge, you fail at a variety of different things because you don't have the knowledge and the wisdom. You re you forever remained kind of like this childlike energy. So everything that you try to do, it fails. Like this could have been a family that no one, This that's what I'm talking about, breaking generational curses. This could have been a family where no one was like successful, no one could see it. It may have been like a poor family or people that dealt with poverty, people that dealt with like um, every time something good happens, something unfortunate happens with them or, or alongside of it or something like that. This definitely has something to do with a baby. Like I said, someone is some type of a, a child with a disability. This child with a disability could be the chosen one. You know, this is the last generation i don't i don't know if this is god's overall message for the collective or just you sash that's saying like you know how these babies are being born with autism and all kind of stuff like this is the last generation that that's gonna affect like whatever that was meant to be paid for whatever whatever was forbidden that this parent did this grandparent this great great grandmother this great great grandfather whatever it was it's like the debt has been paid because the officer's back there and he's not really doing anything. The debt has been paid. But failure, strife, envy, persecution, um, lack, all that stuff has shown up in this, uh, in this family for generations upon generations. It's like never being able to step out and be like different. You know, or always being the laughing stock of the neighborhood, or you, you understand what I'm saying? The people dealing with alcoholism and drug abuse and, and and sexual demons and all kind of stuff. But I feel like this was the last generation. Whatever was um whatever was haunting this family bloodline has been removed, has been released. Like the new generation is the generation, like I'm not sure if this is you, Sag. If it's your child, but it's like the debt has been paid. Like no longer will your bloodline like have debt and lack and and arguments and and, and strife and drug abuse and 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 and, and, and um, molestation and all of these other things because it was so, it's just so bad to say but it, somebody did something forbidden that had affected the entire bloodline and it's like that thing is finally being removed you understand what I'm saying like it's, it's finally like gone so 
rest assured, Sag, this thing that was affecting your bloodline, your mom, your dad, your grandma, your grandfather, whoever, aunties, uncles, nephews, cousins, whatever, whatever that thing is in your life, curse has been broken. Okay, beloved, I thank you so much for tapping into Black Banana HP Stable Etiquette. Make sure to like, share, comment, and subscribe. And until next time, love, peace, and so take care.